everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video should just be a short declutter video. I'm going to be decluttering my lip glosses and then I also just have like a few little lip balms down there so I thought I would throw them in here because you can see I don't have a huge lip gloss collection especially compared to my last lipstick declutter which I'll have my declutter playlist linked down below. Um, but still, I'm not a big lip gloss person and I don't wear it a ton so this is far too many lip glosses for me. So I wanna do some decluttering so why don't we go ahead and get started. I don't know how much I'll swatch since they are glosses. They kind of are, are tough to swatch, but we'll just we'll just go ahead and see. But I'll just start with kind of my balms right here since there's only a few of them. So I have this one from Dior. It's the Dior Lip Glow. And I actually really do like this one. I took this one out of my purse to film this video because it's a nice balm. It's not like super sticky. It's not super waxy, but it also has a slight pink tint to it. Hello, Samantha. It also has a slight pink tint to it, which some days I don't want, and that's when I reach for the Glossier, which also resides in my purse, but some days I do want just a little bit of color on my lips, and so I like having this one in my purse for that, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. And then, like I said, this one was also in my purse. This is from Glossier. It's the coconutbalm.com. You can see Aries tried her hardest to get at this one day, and I was like, no, girl. No, you don't. This is one of my favorite lip balms. Uh, it is awesome for the lips. It is super, just like, hydrating and just like nourishing for the lip skin and frame and it is just it's one of my favorite lip balms I feel like this one has a lot of chatter to it but for a good reason it's one of my favorites and it has a really nice scent to it as well and I feel like it makes your lips soft really enjoy this one I am going to keep it this one here is a fresh it's one of their sugar lip treatments and honey so this one this one is kind of interesting to me because it is like a lip balm but it also like instead of the Dior one where it just has like a slight tint this one really gives you like lip color so a lot of times when I'm reaching for my lip balms I either want like a very sheer color or I don't want any color and this is like I don't know it's kind of like in between I've also had it for a while and it's been open for a while and I just don't reach for it a ton I even put it by my desk and I still don't reach for it a ton so I'm gonna actually go ahead and declutter that one uh, this next one here is from Drunk Elephant. This is their Lippy Balm. I actually do not like this product. It was one of the first ones that I started trying out from Drunk Elephant and one of the first products that I reviewed. And I was like, you know what? I actually don't like this. It's very waxy. It doesn't stay on the lips a ton and it makes my lips feel super dry. Like I feel like I have to constantly be reapplying this when I was testing it out. So I actually do not like this. So I'm gonna put that in my past pile as well. And then this last this one here is also from Fresh. It's one of their sugar lip treatments in Pearl. This one I actually really do like and I'm I'm almost out of it. I can tell that it feels pretty light in here. It is sheer on the lips, but it has like the slightest hint of something to it, but it's really beautiful. And again, it's just like really nourishing for the lips. So this one I do like, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. So just out of the balms, I'm gonna go ahead and keep these three and then I'm gonna go ahead and declutter these two so that's where we're starting off with but to actually go into my glosses so you can see here that I obviously have some from Urban Decay it was sent to me in the PR package I'm gonna deal with those last <laughs> I'm gonna go through those last and see how we do uh, this first one here let's hop into it this one is from Fenty Beauty this is the gloss bomb I don't mind this lip gloss. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it because it was a pricey lip gloss. I honestly wish I would have just gotten the mini. Honestly, for any lip gloss, I feel like I should just get minis because I, I don't wear them a ton. This was pricey. I, I like it, but I don't love it. Uh, I wish I would have, or maybe I got it on sale. I can't remember when I picked it up, but it's okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. Next up, I have this one here from Woosh Beauty, which I believe can be found at Ulta. They sent me a PR package, but the lip gloss just really didn't do anything for me. And keep in mind, I'm just not a lip gloss person. Don't reach for them a ton, uh, but this one didn't really do anything for me. Wow me, so I'm gonna put that one in the past pile. Uh, let's see, I have this one here. Oh, this is from Maybelline. It's one of the Vivid Hot Lacquers. Uh, my Makeup monthly for the month of April should be up. I will have it linked down below and I put this in the fail category. So I'm going to declutter this one. I do not like this. It's very sticky. It transfers onto my lips. Do not like this. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that one. Uh, I also have this one here from Dose of Colors. 
And this is very sad to me. This is a, a newer purchase to me. It's in Honey, I'm Home. Um, oh, again, I said I was going to be swatching, and I've kind of been doing a terrible job, but let me see if I can swatch. This one actually has some pigment to it, so that's how I thought of it. There's Honey, I'm Home, and it's kind of one of those colors. When I did my lipstick collection declutter, I decluttered a color similar to this from Dose of Colors out of my collection. It's just not a super flattering shade on me, and... It just correlates to the gloss as well and the gloss was pretty sticky like pretty thick and sticky So it wasn't my favorite I'm kind of bummed that I didn't save my receipt I just figured it was Joseph colors and I was gonna love it So I didn't save my receipt and I wish I would have but unfortunately I'm just gonna go ahead and put that one in my past pile uh, I have this one from Tarte. This is a little mini guy. It probably came in a set, I'm assuming. This is one of their glossy lip paints, and I don't know if it has, I don't see a shade name on it, so not sure what this shade is, but I also don't really love the Tarte glossy lip paints. Oh, that one has a bit of pigment to it as well. It's a nice pink, um, but I remember trying this out and just not really loving it as well, and again, just with not being a gloss person, I'm really trying to get this collection uh, down a little bit, so I'm also going to go ahead and declutter this one. Okay, so to keep it moving, I have this one here from Too Faced, and this is one of their peach oils, um, the Creamy Peach Oil Lip Gloss. This is in Pure Peach. This one really doesn't have much of a swatch to it. I think I just featured it recently in my Lip Picks video, so that's how I know, um, but I actually really do like these. I love the way that they smell. It's a really nice, like really a combination between an oil and a lip gloss. And I feel like it feels really nice on the lips and it has that nice like peachy pink uh, tone to it as well. So I really do like these. I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. Uh, this next one here is from Buxom. I was super happy to find this. I misplaced this for a hot second. I finally found it. But this is Buxom in White Russian. This one might be a little bit hard to see as well. <laughs> um, that one is White Russian and I really do like these. This is a little mini guy as well because it came in a set, but I really do like these. They have a bit of a plumping factor to them. This one, I mean, you can see from the swatch, it's pretty sheer, but it has like a light tint to it, but it's a really nice gloss. I don't find these to be overly sticky. I really do like these, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. Uh, this next one here is from, oh, let's go this way. This next one here is, oh, this is from Lancome. I got this sent to me from Octoly and I ended up actually really enjoying it. This is in 222. This is called like their, that's very strange that it doesn't have the name on it for Lancome. Hello. It's called like the La Absolute Gloss or something like that. These are pricey, but I actually really like them. Um, there's a little swatch of that there if you can see that. I really do like this one. It's sheer, but it has a bit of a nice shimmer to it. To it and again I just really like the way it feels on the lips it's it's not sticky in the slightest it just feels like really smooth for a lip gloss I think these are really nice so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one too I have two here from Marc Jacobs and these are both in sugar sugar I purchased the full size and then the mini came in like a you know Sephora favorites new and the mini came in like one of the Sephora collection sets I really do like both and I I'm that person who keeps my mini and my full size usually because my minis I take traveling or in my clutch with me. My full sizes I just like to have in my makeup collection. But I really do enjoy this gloss. I think it's really beautiful. And again, it has just like the slightest bit of a shimmer to it. Nothing super overwhelming. Just the slightest, slightest little bit. But oh, the Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar, you're a nice one. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that one too. And then I have this one here from Pure, and let's see, there's a mirror on the back. Let's see, this is in Birthday Suit. Um, I know I don't really enjoy the Pure glosses. I tried this one out for a while. Again, it just didn't really do anything for me, so uh, I'm just going to go ahead and pass that one on. This one here is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Again, this one is a mini, and this is in Kristen, I believe it is. This one came in one of the Sephora sets as well, and I actually really like her glosses. They are pretty intense for a gloss. Like, look at that swatch. Um, they are pretty intense for a lip gloss, like color payoff-wise, but I'm really happy that I like this because I don't love her liquid lipsticks, and I don't love her matte lipsticks, but I do like her glosses, so that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and hang on to that one. And then, let's see, okay, this is another one from Pure, so this one is in Squad, and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one, if my camera would focus, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one too, again, it has a bit of a shimmer to it, I used it for a while, um, but Pure, I don't know, Pure lip products don't get me going a ton from the brand, so I'll go ahead and pass that one on too. 
And then I have some here from the Mac and Patrick Star collaboration. Um, this was their first collaboration that they did. So I believe, I think I decluttered out the darker one, like the red gloss. So the shades are She Better Work and Mama Star. And so they're they, these two swatches up here, the pink is She Better Work and the other one is Mama Star. I like MAC lip glosses. I mean, you can see I have several here that I'll have to go through. I do like MAC glosses, but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and keep the pink one, She Better Work, and declutter the darker one just because I don't wear a lot of darker lip glosses. So that's what I'm gonna do for those. And then I have a butter gloss. Yeah, a butter gloss from NYX. This is in Fortune Cookie. That is super, super light. I do like the NYX glosses though, and I got this one off a recommendation. I think it was from Les Lux or Katie and I really do like it and I like that really really sheer color because that's nice to use with a lipstick that does have a good amount of color but I just want that mm, gloss so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one alrighty so then we're gonna start in with the MAC lip glasses. So you can see my lip glasses here from MAC. Now I did get a PR package from MAC and that's where the majority of these came from. I did give away a few and like I gave some to friends as well and put some in giveaway packages and such. But these were the ones that I decided to keep. And I know right off the bat that there's some of these that I have never used. I just kind of kept them in my collection like, yeah, I'm gonna use these one day, I'm gonna use these one day. And then I didn't. So these three are Nuevo, Lemonade, and Myth. These have never been opened, never been used or swatched from me, so I can go ahead and give these away. Those are going to go in my past pile right off the bat. Like, there's no reason that I can need to keep saying, like, maybe one day I'll use those. Like, no, you're not going to. Okay, this one here is Under the Sheets. Am I correct? Yes. This one here is Under the Sheets. This is probably my most used MAC lip gloss, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. I can't remember now if this one was was one that was in collaboration with Nicki Minaj, but I reach for this one a lot and I really enjoy it. So I'm definitely going to be keeping under the sheets. Another one that I really like is Candy Box, which is this one right here. Okay, I just wanna make sure, I feel like I can tell just looking at them, but then I also wanna make sure. Uh, but this one is Candy Box, and this is one that I like to wear over like a pink lipstick. It's just a nice, like, I mean, it's a really pink gloss. I'll say that MAC, lip gloss formula isn't like hands down my favorite, but I still reach for them quite a bit and I, I do still use them and you know, get use out of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep Candy Box too. And then I have these two left to make a decision on. So we have Nude and also Cultured. For those last two swatches and those ones are very like, I mean, I feel like you can tell in the swatches that they're just a lot more light and sheer than the other ones that I typically like a lot. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and put those in the past pile. Again, trying to keep in mind that I'm trying to cut down my collection. I don't reach for these a ton, and I feel like with my other two glosses, I feel like I get a lot of use out of them for my MAC glosses, so. Okay, now let's go ahead and move on to my Urban Decay lip glosses because clearly something needs to be done here. So I also got these in PR from Urban Decay and like I said, I already gave some away. I gave some to friends. I put some in giveaway packages. These were the ones that I decided to keep for myself and I was like, maybe I'll try these out. So there's already been some in here that I have never tried. Once again, I've never tried and I haven't had them as long as the MAC but I've still had them a decent time. So if I've never tried them, I need to go ahead and kick them out of my collection. That's pretty much half of what I have, so that's fun. Um, so we have Dirty Talk, and also Jawbreaker, also Obsessed, Beso, Big Bang, and then this last one here is Candy Flip. So these are all glosses that I was like, maybe someday I will use these, and I still haven't. So since they've never been opened, they've never been swatched, I can put them in giveaway videos, I can make my friends happy, I just need to go ahead and say goodbye to them. So these are the ones that we have left. I just wore this one the other day. This is in Gold Mine. It's honestly not as intimidating as it looks in here. Um, I just, I wore this over a, a lipstick and I just thought it looked really cool. It didn't really leave it like a yellow gold. It just kind of gave it some like gold shimmer, I would say. I thought it was pretty cool um, and pretty unique, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. This one I actually have on my lips at this moment. I just got done filming another video because I am pre-filming for my Oklahoma trip. This is in Rapture, and I really like this gloss. I think that it's a nice color, and again, I'm wearing it today. I do wanna keep this one. I like the Urban Decay uh, Hi-Fi Shine Lip Glosses. 
they're $20 and I feel like that's pretty high for a lip gloss for me, but these are nice lip glosses. Again, I don't know if I'd really be able to say like what is my favorite formula of lip gloss because I'm not a big lip gloss person, but these are pretty decent. They're not sticky at all um, and I feel like they look pretty flattering on the lips. This one was another fun one. This is in SPL. I wore this in another video like when everyone was doing like Coachella looks, the most Coachella I got was like kind of putting on a shimmer lip gloss and I was like, yeah, look at me. Um, this one is really pretty too. I want to keep this one for, you know, when I want to wear a shimmer lip gloss. I don't know how often that will be, but I've been in that mood. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. Uh, this one is one of my favorites. This is in Fuel. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people really have been enjoying Fuel. I've been seeing this pop up in favorites videos and such. Like, that's just a nice gloss. You could wear this gloss on its own for just like a slight tint, or you could wear it over another lipstick. But yeah, that one's really pretty as well. This one here, this is in Midnight Cowgirl, and this one, let me swatch it and see what I think. Yeah, this one kind of has like peachy tones, like a very slight peachy vibe to it, but I remember this one I was kind of disappointed in. I put it on one day and I was like, I feel like I need something a little bit more in my lip gloss. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and declutter that one. And then this next one here is in 1993, which 1993 is one of my favorite lipsticks from Urban Decay. And it's just, I mean, it's that in a gloss. And I think it's really nice. Again, this one could be worn as a standalone or over a darker lipstick, but this one's really pretty, so I'm gonna keep that one. And then the last one I have here is in Naked. Again, I love the Naked lipstick from Urban Decay. So this one I do also wanna keep. I like that gloss. I've worn it over the Naked lipstick as well because I just thought <laughs> those two belong together. So this one is really nice too. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one. So let me pull my piles together and, uh, Let's see how we did. I have some very exciting news to share. So in this pile up here already in the container is the lip glosses that I'm keeping. Everything else on the outside of it is what I'm decluttering. So I am keeping 20 and decluttering 21. I don't know if I have ever done a declutter where I have decluttered more than I have kept. So I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I know it's only one, but I'm feeling pretty proud of myself at the moment. So that's awesome. That makes me feel a lot better. Again, you know, I've been saying it. I'm not a lip gloss person. I don't reach for them a lot. So to have over 40 lip glosses was a little ridiculous. So I am super happy that I cut that in half. Yes you go girl and I have a lot here that like I said I've never been opened I can actually give them away so that's pretty freaking cool as well but I'm pretty excited about this this makes me very happy that is going to do it for my lip gloss slash my tiny little lip balm collection over here I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing a declutter video Again, I will have my declutter playlist linked down below in case you want to see others. And I do have two other very recent lipstick collection declutters as well. They're kind of um, divided into red slash colorful lipsticks and then nudes and nudes and more nudes. That one was a big one. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this one. As always, if you did, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. I hope that you'll also consider subscribing before you go. And I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video.